immature to talk over people? You see, he can't help himself. Darth, I, cannot, I don't understand what accept. your problem is. He, okay, you're, you know you're what? angry? You were talking that. about me. So you're going to okay, ask them to yeah, mute just, me now? Just mute, mute that. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah just mute him. We're done. Okay, okay. Uh, I would like to hear Sapphire speak. He's so me, literally just respectfully, Res like, respectfully, like a streaming band. I'm gonna, respectfully, I'm yeah, going to appeal no, to the room. I'm going to appeal to the room. Was it? Was it? Was it me? This, this, hold this on, is hold not on. Not a democracy, Rami. You I'm, said, not, I'm not talking to Rami. I'm not talking said, to you, Darth. You said, okay, Rami. You said, you see it again. Is literally the body of Christ. Okay, I'm the church. Literally the body of Christ. I'm not moving forward with this until we acknowledge. Course, the, okay, this. we're okay, done. Again, we're again. done. We're going to move we on. I just, done, I just don't see the point. I just don't see the Rami, point. Can we move two. on to somebody Rami. else? Okay, okay. sure, I'm sure. Let, let, let it go. Let it go. It's fine. Okay, Look, all right. He's, That's yeah, perfectly fine. Yeah, no, but you guys all saw that. You guys saw he called me a yeeting woman. Here's a guy who hasn't even read a basic text on hermeneutics. He doesn't even understand. The, the use of the term those are all law. logical fallacies darth just because i have holes oh in my, my knowledge see, doesn't mean i'm wrong you you, you you just can't stop just, just because you know more about specific wow. different okay. times you know right. let let go. Stop this yeah, guy. Yeah, i think, I think peter just, i think let it go. if you're gonna talk about me i'm yeah, going to respond so you guy. can yeah we can drop it can if you're gonna stop talking about guy please if you mention me again i'm gonna respond can you please all right mute this guy Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the yeah. that, people that was a cool sound like, effect. See, people don't like to be corrected. Okay. And are we moving on? When, and then we, okay. Can we? Can, can I, we I was, him? Well, well, I don't, I don't think. I think maybe the room mods don't want to mute him. But this guy Peter no. here stepped up and said he was an atheist, and I think he'd like to explain how God doesn't exist or something like that. He was kind of seeming like he was that. Peter. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that. Okay, sorry. I, maybe I uh, misinterpreted that. I think most of these atheists. Well, mo the most of the atheists that I see power. here, Darth has engaged with. But well, you'll notice what they yeah. do is they bait and switch. They self-identify as atheists because they know what it means in the English language. It means there's no God. And then they'll turn around and they'll just rebrand atheism as a psychological state which represents a mere absence of a positive belief. And now they don't have to defend what their real position is. They can talk. I, I, I had a quick question mouth. for you, Darth. Sorry. I, I had a quick question for you. I, I, I was trying to remember how exactly you phrase it. Um, when people refer to the deistic t God and non-person, like if God didn't want himself to be existent, then he wouldn't, he be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Something that you say a lot when somebody kind of maybe appeals to like the deistic God. If I'm paraphrasing um, what you kind of do, you know, um, I was listening to an atheist the other day. I forget who it was, and it was somebody who had some notoriety. I wish I, sh I should have written it down. But he said, you know, deists are just atheists without balls, right? Uh, deism, uh, there's no God to invoke in deism because it's not a God who reveals himself. What what what's the thing that you say though that you're like you're like oh well if God didn't want Himself to be known then can't okay. He do that Yeah yeah, yeah you question, see what I'm saying The question is really simple and it says Can God be known if God purposes not to be known Okay so yeah. could God a, be known if He purposes Okay okay go on go not on, to yeah. not to be known It's a very okay, simple yeah. but very powerful question Sure Okay and it's a question that I ask certain people who try to defend the existence of God, but they're doing it incorrectly, or I ask it of atheists. So God can only be known if and mm, only if right. God purposes to be known, and where the rubber meets the road is God must engage in revelatory actions from him to us in a clear and unambiguous way, without which God cannot be, cannot be known. I'm an atheist, and I think deists are also kind of just like lazy. Well, why are you an atheist? I don't know, just personal, just like how I've been uh, you know, developed my knowledge and things Another, like that. But, it, 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 it just took them two seconds to be a This is the Christian two chat. Seconds I, don't to be I don't want to debate. I just want to listen to you guys talk because I'm well, I just want to. I would like to know why it's rational to make a universal uh, 
quantifiable negation that there's no God. How, how could, on what basis could, is that plausible? Because, well, like, I don't want to like get in the debate, but for me, it's the fact that the universe does not require a God to exist. There's no reason in the universe. You're re you're restating, you're, but you're basically restating the negation of God. Okay. So what you're, what you're basically stating is a kind of quasi naturalism. So this is just an indirect negation of God. Now, how do you know that any singular uh, thing or anything collectively exists with metaphysical independence from God. How would you tell if there was? You know what I mean? Like that's that's not an answer to my question. You said the universe doesn't need God, which is simply a declaration that the set of all real things exists with metaph metaphysical independence from God. How could you possibly know this? So you're saying, how would I know there is no God? Like, what things... When I ask you to give a rational account for atheism, which is the position that there is no God, and you said, well, there's no need for, for, for God. You are just basically advocating uh, naturalism or materialism, correct? Well, I, I, yes. Yeah, that's what I believe Okay, in. how did you determine that any singular or collective state exists with complete and utter metaphysical independence from God? Because, well, for me as well, it's the fact that before religion even existed and before uh, humans evolved, and you might have a different thought on this, but for me, that's what it is. It's the fact that uh, before humans evolved and even had the ability to have religion, uh, even before, like, uh, some people describe chimps having of a religion, uh, very basic, but the, how would there be anything or a need for a god before religion? Like, why is it just humans okay. that... Yeah. Okay, so you'll notice that I did not interrupt them, everybody in the room. Because in spite of the fact I completely disagree with him, he was at least attempted to give a substantive response. Okay? So when people aren't being evasive and they're attempting to answer the question, I keep my mouth shut. None of that follows that anything exists with metaphysical independence from God. You're just trying to tell, tell us how you think the idea of God evolved, okay? That doesn't follow from that, even if it were true that God doesn't exist. So either the tree outside your window blowing in the wind exists with complete ultimate dependence and derivation by God, or the tree exists with complete metaphysical independence from God. So how did you determine that that tree exists with metaphysical independence from God. You're saying that for each of those situations, there has to be a God in that state or no? We have two worlds. Okay. We have the God world and the not God world in the God world, which we can call the creator creature distinction. Everything that exists that is not God derives and depends upon the mind, the purpose, and the plan of God. So everything that's not God metaphysically depends upon God. In the not God world, which there are different permutations and flavors, each and every object exists with metaphysical independence from God. How did you determine when you say there's no need for God, that's simply an indirect denial of God. So how did you determine that anything exists with independence from God? Um, I, I guess this is the debate now. I mean, I'm not like trying to like get into like a deep, deep thought of debate, but for me, it's the lack of empirical evidence. Um, so what now what you're doing is you are now you are now shape shifting from atheism being propositional that there is no god to atheism oh, as a psychological I, here's, here's, state here's what i also think and I, I think i didn't bring this up but i also think that a lot of atheists uh take that their own way i for me did you understand what i just said to you yes you're saying that i'm uh taking the stance that you are from you are you, have, did you hear the term what? i used shape-shifting oh i thought you said oh okay sorry i misheard you then Okay, I'm using it metaphorically. Okay. When I'm asking you to give an account for the universal negation that there is no God, 
that can be expressed positively in that all things that exist exist with independence from God. I simply ask you, how did you determine that? And now you're not telling me how you determined that. You're, you're now moving from there is no God or indirectly that everything exists with independence from God to now atheism is a psychological state where you're unconvinced. You're, you're pulling the incredulity card. Okay. All right. And, oh, I would love to know your opinion. Why? Because uh, I, I, I love talking. I'm, I'm still people. waiting for you to answer my question. So, sorry, I, 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 I was glitching out. I would I, like I, you I, to I, tell me how you know that anything or all things exist with independence from God. Um, so you don't like the answer without empirical evidence. Okay. I'm waiting for an answer to my question. Um, I, I really don't know what you're trying to ask me other than the fact that I don't have empirical Your evidence. Your position is evidence. there is no God, right? Uh, I have no evidence for the for the existence. Of okay, God. so we're now we're going to do shape shifting again. You're going to go from the no, position that there is. I, listen I've to never me, Carrie. Uh, you did you not tell me at the outset you were an atheist? I think a lot of people take uh, what I say when I say I'm an atheist differently. Oh, um, okay. I'm Here not, we go again, directly... folks. Here we go again. It never fails to happen. Now the shape shifting all over again. They go from being an atheist to denying God to, oh, golly shucks, I'm just unconvinced. No evidence. But I would love to ask you a question. I have a lot of religious friends. Uh, are are you? Uh, you uh, I'll be more than happy um, to answer yeah, your yeah. questions, but just we like, haven't resolved. We haven't. Listen, I was talking to a pastor stop, the other stop day. trying to be like a used car salesman here. Okay, try, try I'm not, I'm just, stop pretending that there's not an elephant in the room that we have to deal with here. Now, what you, you started off when I asked you, how is it that God does not exist? And you said, well, there's no need for God. Everything exists without God. That's an indirect denial of God. Okay. But now I asked you, how did you determine that anything at all individually or collectively exists with metaphysical independence from God? And you're, because you can't defend that you've now shape shifted that your position is golly shucks. I'm just unconvinced. What evidence or rationale convinced you that anything exists with independence from God? What 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 convinced you of that? Sorry, I'm back. My Wi-Fi is fucking cutting off. Yeah. What you what convinced you that the, the world exists with independence from God? Because that's that's that was your opening salvo. God doesn't uh, this, exist so, because the world exists independently of God. This, this comes back to like my 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 question that I was going to ask you beforehand. Um, and no, I, I want you to answer about, my question. Yeah, I, will. I am. I'll please, repeat please the around. question no, no, again. I'm going to answer. Yeah, gonna you gonna know, answer. you know what, you know what, folks, we're we're getting to the point where we're going to have to request. Why did the, we the even music think it's, used here. it's very simple. You why, told why, me. Why, why does, you told me. You you're now you're being disruptive. You told me that God does not exist because you have decided that the world exists with independence from God. How did you determine that? Um, there's so many religion. Okay, I'll I'll give you a few. Um, rather than asking you questions, it, it feels like you don't want to answer them. Um, if you fact, dodge one more time, I'm going to ask no, the no, moderators no. to this silence you, and we'll question. move on to somebody else. It's the lack of. Uh, goodness in the world um i don't i don't get why there's so much it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't follow because there are please nasty things that transpire please during please human don't history please don't that god doesn't exist you're just breaking the one rule that you said you want okay you know what we're gonna we're gonna move on you see this is what they do <laughs> folks they cannot help themselves <laughs> that yeah, when they get their hand water. caught in the cookie jar when they get their hand caught in the cookie jar, and you say, is your hand in the cookie jar? No, my hand's not in the cookie jar. Your hand is in the cookie jar. And then they start being evasive. They start being deceptive. They start bickering. Answer, the Have a nice day, sir. You are you are extremely dishonest. When I ask you to give an account for your assertion that the world exists with independence from God, therefore no God, and I ask you to justify it, then you shapeshift, oh, I'm just unconvinced. 
You're ch you're shape shifting okay, from the world exists from independence from God versus your unconvinced. Let's do it. Let's I do want it. you to explain to me what convinced you okay. that anything yeah. exists with complete metaphysical independence Perfect. from God. Here's so a, here's what, a, another way of putting it. Me? What, what me? ultimately dictates why anything exists if it's not God? No, no, no. I'm gonna answer your first question. So, what made me believe that there is no God? Uh, first off, it's the existence of evil. I don't get why there's so much evil in the world. It doesn't also, follow from so that many... that God doesn't exist. And there's also why is there so many religions? Why why do you? It doesn't what, it doesn't what follow. God is right. It it doesn't follow why, why do, because there's the, the, uh, uh, listen to me. I'm answering you. It's in the, what you're giving are non sequiturs. Okay. It does not logically and necessarily follow because there's the good, the bad, and the ugly during the course of human history according to God's plan. That therefore there's no God. Num number two, the fact that there is a divergence of religious views it doesn't follow from that that there's not a god maybe the god who creates the world and i'm saying this tongue-in-cheek maybe right decided he was going to allow human beings either to love him as the one true god and acknowledge him or to rebel and worship a whole divergent views about the world in a state of rebellion none of that follows that god doesn't exist so i will ask you one more time how did you determine that the world exists with independence from God? I, 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 I already answered your question, but you interrupted me. No, you didn't answer me. How did you determine that anything at all exists with independence from God? Have you determined what is the ultimate? Have you determined? You know, do you know who Lawrence Krauss is? Are you there? Lawrence Krauss is an atheist, a, a professional physicist, and he says, Oh, we don't need God. We can explain everything to the laws of nature. So when it was my turn, I said, uh, Dr. Krauss, can you tell me what's foundational and fun, uh, fundamental that dictates what is and cannot be? He goes, Oh, I don't know. What does it even matter? Well, because you, you told me you don't need God. You told me you don't need God because the world exists without God. That's good. How do you know that? And I, I just get these evasive responses because you have no defense. You have decided that there's no God because you don't want there to be a God. And because you got brainwashed in believing in the theory of evolution, you think, oh, I evolved. I don't need me, no, no, uh, no creator. Biology is my creator, not God. Little do you know, evolution is a horrible scientific theory. Uh, what's your opinion on the reasons why we have multiple religions in the world? What's your opinions on? What's your because opinion on mankind that? is in a a persistent state of rebellion against God, exactly as the Bible says. What denomination are you? If I if you I'm non denominational. I am a okay. Bible believing evangelical Christian. Very cool. What do you, what's your thoughts on like uh, Catholics and? people who do put themselves into a denomination uh there are a number of different denominations that claim to follow jesus christ but they teach a works gospel and they are not representing jesus christ okay um so what what, what would you say to them uh if you're coming at from like a i would uh, tell them that they need to be right, born right, i i would tell them the same thing that i will tell you you need to be born again you need to repent which means you need to have a radical change of mind about your false belief about god and your status before him and realize that you are one heartbeat away from eternal damnation you are hanging over eternal damnation by a thread and unless you repent and turn to jesus christ that's where god's going to send you when you die so because you refuse because you refuse for whatever your intellectual reasons are you refuse to acknowledge god and bow to what he has revealed about himself so i'm i'm young and i'm trying to understand people how old are you how they believe I'm 20, so I'm I'm young, and I, I of course that and you're means, and you're married. Like, no, not not yet. Um, uh, soon to be. Um, but I had a question. Um, what what's your opinion on the fact like, um, why if God was so good and Jesus was so nice, why wouldn't He just allow us to, 
uh, be forgiven, even if somebody doesn't believe in God per se, or um, they die without believing. Why? Why do they deserve to be put to hell if they were just being ignorant? Or like everybody say, deserves to go to hell because they're a rebellious sinner against okay. God. But God, who is r rich in love and mercy, commands all men everywhere to repent and turn to Him for salvation, which He will grant if they will simply repent. But those people who refuse to repent and want to believe that by their own conduct and their own behavior, they'll be vindicated, they're going to meet their doom. So, like, this is not trying to get a gotcha at all. It's just, like, me trying to learn. Um, so, like, let's say you're born uh, to people who don't know about Jesus and the Bible. Like, they have never seen it. Yeah, this question like, gets remote. asked all yeah. the time. Yeah. What's First of all, I wouldn't worry about those people. I would worry about your eternal destiny. Number two, God is going to hold all men accountable for the light that they have been given. So what would you okay. say like, happens to them? Like, what, what are they, like, already uh, going to hell? Every or? person who stands before God whom God sends to hell will deserve to go there. And those who do get into the kingdom will do so because during their lifetime, they responded to one facet or more of God's revelation and they repented and turned to God as savior. If somebody is in a, a remote place and see, read Acts, see if you were more well-read in the Bible, you wouldn't ask this question because in Acts 17, it says, yeah, yeah. God determined the boundaries of our habitation every single human being, our time and places of, of, of birth so that we will seek him, though he is not far from each one of us. So you, but you, most people, but, but organic, you see, here's the like thing is it makes, it makes no difference that we have a bunch of people on a remote location who may be animists, okay, and believe in paganism. They're just as rebellious against God as the members of the National Academy of Sciences. So, so like what I'm trying to get at is like, and what I'm trying to like understand you're at is where you're at is. So if let's say you had like a bunch of people on an island, like hypothetical, and they didn't know anything about religion or the outside Western world. Or no, anything. they know they know of God's existence yeah. by looking at Could the they creation. Theoretically, create like an organic belief in a God, and that would still be counting towards. No, they heaven. they will they either acknowledge God and honor God to the extent of the light they've been given, or they don't. People typically don't. Even, even when the they even even when people have given God's full, there are people who have read the Bible and are even more well read in the Bible than even some Bible believing Christians, and still they're still unrepentant. the The bottom line is, I get this question. I've had this question asked hundreds and hundreds yeah, and bet. hundreds of times. It's irrelevant. Because okay. God is going to hold everybody accountable. If it was the case that these people are not accountable to God, then the worst thing we could do is bring them the gospel because now they're going to be in jeopardy in virtue of, of either receiving or not receiving uh, Christ as Savior. You see, I'm not worried about how God is going to adjudicate other people in different times and different lands. I know that God's judgment is perfect. But you see, right now, you are doing the very same thing that remote people do. The light that you have received, you are not respecting. You are not bowing and acknowledging a God to the extent of light that you have received. You do know of Jesus Christ, yet you refuse to bow to him. That's a very uh, fascinating uh, take, and I'm glad you were able it's not, to It's not that fascinating. Last. No, it's I not, it it's is. not, it's not, it's I'm, not I'm fascinating. It. It's what, it's what your future is and going it's what you to occur. That's pretty cool. I think that's, uh, it's, uh, and it's the, it's the only rational worldview to hold to. Okay. Okay. I, I see what, where you're coming from. Um, and you see, you told me in the outset you're an atheist. When I asked you to give a a rational accounting for that, you ran away from it. You dodged I it. I, I think I provide, but like we don't. Have to no, it, no, we don't sir. Have to dive into it. Did you? Okay. Did you give me a rational accounting how anything exists with metaphysical independence okay. from God? So, I'll I'll describe to what why why I think what I provided was and I'd oh, love to hear answer it. The, you, you notice yeah, I want everyone yeah, in the room who's listening you notice how when I refine these you questions to people to how they are continually evasive 
you just you just don't give them enough time to answer. Sure. Sir. Can you please tell me how you know that anything exists with metaphysical independence from God? Instead, I'm going to ask, why do you think the argument? Have a nice day, sir. We're evidence. done. Have a have a nice day. You are you are you are a dishonest interlocutor. I just want to know what, you're going to make your you're going to make what's either a great Democratic congressman or a great used car salesman. Have a nice day. What, what's saying that there is no evidence for God is just a reassertion that everything exists with independence from God. Just yeah, the same so ha have a nice day. We're, we're done. I attempted to elucidate from you honest responses. I don't have to agree with you, but you were persistently and transparently evasive. Have a nice day, sir. You are in you are in a state of rebellion against God, and you're going to say anything like a used car salesman to pull the wool over people's eyes. Well, you're not going to fool me. Do you have hatred? Hatred. Have a yourself? have a nice day, sir. You need to repent and turn to Christ the Savior because you, you are going to stand before Him on on Judgment Day, and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. But then it's going to be too late. You're feigning like you don't have sufficient intellectual grounds to believe. That is a deception. That is a lie. You are lying. Do you have hate towards me? No. If I if I if I if I if I did, then I would I would relish the fact that you're going to eternal damnation. I don't want you to go there. I want you to repent. But I just expose the fact that you are claiming that you have intellectual grounds for your non belief, but I demonstrated you have no intellectual grounds for your unbelief. Hey, Darth, I'm guessing you've talked to this guy Oizen before. For some reason, I feel like you've you've engaged with him. I could be wrong. I... Oizen, the I've, truth. I've talked with a lot of people. I've never talked to Darth before. Ozen. Oh, uh, well, you're an atheist. Well, maybe, you know, Bio had his, had his shot there for a little while. I was just kind of maybe wondering if Oizen, I saw he's an atheist. Maybe he'd like to try to engage and... Show you us have a, do you have a YouTube exist. channel? Yeah, Ozian Talks and Matters Now. Have you ever done videos on me? A while ago, I stopped doing doing videos about you probably like two and a half years ago. Yeah, now I remember your name. So um, I'm trying to remember what you said about me in the videos. You want to refresh my memory? Um. Nothing negative. I actually learned a lot about you. Um, I started to think about really what my position is. I'm a naturalistic atheist, so I ground my um, epistemology in naturalism. I wrote a book called. Um, how do you how do you how do you ground epistemology? How what is the single concrete unifying principle so that there can be knowledge? Um, all examples of causation that we've ever experienced are natural. <laughs> you just made an appeal to an abstraction. I said, that's "What is this abstraction?" Yeah, that yeah, is. yeah, yeah. It is an abstraction. I'll tell you why. What's because an abstraction? It's not, it, I'll explain sure. it to you. I'll explain You're it to you. Okay. Abstraction. I'll explain it to you. Okay. Because those are concrete. Do, do, do you know? No, you're not understanding the nature. Okay, so you're going to be argumentative right now. Is that That's it? Not argumentative. I'm trying to explain to you. Do you know the difference between concrete and an abstraction? Yes, I an do. Abstra an abstraction doesn't mean fiction. I know. Okay, so did you appeal to something that's singular and concrete? Yes. What was that singular concrete thing? Everything I've experienced in reality. That's not singular. That's plural. It doesn't matter. The, the things okay. I experienced right. in reality dude, is the first universe. Get, first of all, get the closer to your microphone, please. It does matter I, because I, I asked you a question. Microphone. Do you have a singular concrete identifiable unifying principle for the set of all real things i don't need a singular there could be plural. Uh, okay, okay no no okay listen focus okay I'm if focused. you don't have listen to me if you don't have a singular uh -huh. concrete unifying principle yeah. for the set of all real discrete things right <laughs> Then you, when you invoke, <clears throat> excuse me, when you invoke notions of unity, categories, and classes, 
then what you are invoking is fiction because you have nothing that's identifiable that is concrete that imposes the unity categories and classes without which you can't have knowledge so if everything distills down to relativism if everything boils down to relativism can you know something it doesn't boil it down to relativism it's i relativism. asked you a i'm asking you an epistemological question if everything distills down into relativism can you know anything Yes, you can know things. Pretty no, you're not understanding. You, you, okay, I you're not understanding. Can, you're not understanding. I understand. You're, I'm trying I, if you to, want explain me to explain it to you. you. I can explain it to you because I don't know the what better. you're talking. Are you, you being argumentative right now, Dark Dog? No, Please I'm not. I'm trying to me. correct. I'm Under the theory to of justified you. true beliefs, okay. so I can correct let, you. Let me ask you a question. Under the theory of justified true beliefs, you are correct. You cannot know things. Ozen, Ozen. Uh, under okay. it's Ozean, See, this uh, is the under show the theory that they of do. Screaming, listen, screaming over the dude. L listen, this, I'm trying to explain to you. I'm not I trying to put you down. I am not trying to put you down. I'm trying to educate you. You don't know what you're talking about when it comes to epistemology. So is there something that imposes ontologically the unity between one discrete thing and another? Yes. What is that? Energy. <laughs> energy <laughs> is a class. Okay. Yes. It defines I'm asking you what input what your do you understand? Let me try to explain this to you. Okay. When you invoke a class, okay, you're just that's that's invoking unity under a different name. Did you notice I said classes, categories, and unity? Yeah, categories and classes listen listen exists. listen i know a little bit about epistemology okay Good. now when you when we talk about classes and categories of things these are synonyms for unity among diversity so in a model of reality okay you're going to have unity and diversity okay so you have you have one or more discrete states and then you're going to have various levels of unity that is real. Okay. Now, when you, when you say energy, you're just invoking an, a synonym for unity. I want to know, is there something that is singular, concrete, that ontologically imposes that there's unity between any two discrete states? mindless energy yeah you don't you see you're not understanding what i'm presenting i to you. do no you're not understanding I when you say energy is energy what it is, is energy a does. class is energy a class yes okay is in this class are are there discrete concrete particulars Energy is able to describe all the discrete okay listen listen to me ozen i'm not trying to be rude you're not talking you're not talking to some high school student you're not going to be able you're not going to be able to verbally bamboozle me with with rhetoric i am asking you very clear i am asking you very clear ontological and epistemological well, questions i, I have you, i happen to know what i'm talking about now Good. what i'm well, asking you is this you, what you i'm answer. asking you is this okay you're i'm gonna like ask you very dog. simple in your well, world in your world Okay, is your world composed of a myriad of particulars? No, it's all reducible to simples. Okay, you're not, you're not, you're not understanding this. Okay, when I say, do, do you I know do. what in, do you know what individuation is? Yeah. Okay. In your world, is there a plethora, a myriad of individuated states? Um, all within the defined universe, which is um, reducible. Okay, now, to now, now, very simply. So there is an innumerable, from our perspective, particular states that are discrete from each other. Okay? Now, yeah. in the set of all concrete, listen but... carefully. Hey, Ozan, I'm not trying to talk down to you, but I happen to know what I'm talking about. So okay? do I. No, no, you don't know what you're I talking do. about. I All do. I right, do. You know, you know what? You know what? I don't want to have to have the moderators gag you. 
Because I do want to talk with you. Can I get a moderator hey, in here? Oh, so oh, Ozen, Ozen, Ozen. Because I'm trying to have a discussion. Okay, you know what? We're okay. We're okay. we're done. Okay. We're done with this guy. We're done. We're done. We're done with this guy. Ozen. Okay. This guy is this guy is a complete moron. Yo, dark, such dark, a narcissist. Dark, we're dark, done. Darwin, dark and, can you, aren't you done? Can you can you accept my friend? Okay, so 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 yeah. This is this is a guy who shot his mouth off. Did a couple of videos on me. He doesn't have the foggiest idea of what he's talking about. When I asked him what imposes any level of unity in the world amongst of particulars, he says energy. That's just invoking another synonym for unity. I want to know at, at an ultimate level what what imposes that two or more discrete states share unity and where it's imposed where they're not just cosmic doppelgangers. And you, you know what's sad about a guy like this? He does YouTube videos. And he espouses that he knows what he's talking about. He he he's clueless. Dark Dark Dawkins, can you accept my friend request? Who's asking? Uh me. The the bio guy. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'll look it up later. Hell yeah. So I mean I mean this guy, I mean, totally embarrassing. This is a guy who said in previous videos that he would love to debate me. Go to his YouTube channel. I'd be curious to see if he deleted where he said he would love to debate me. Well, even if you yeah. ignore the problem with the answer of energy, how would he even know that what's most fundamental is energy? How would he know there's not something see, more fundamental? See, people like Ozen think if they run their mouth, they're going to fool people that they're being substantive. You know, they're they're like these these wannabe cops who pretend to be cops. They get a badge, they get a little shiny light that they flash in the car, and they pretend to be cops until they get busted. He's totally clueless. Appealing to energy is a class of individual stated. Well, what unifies that? What imposes it? Energy could that be laws of nature or laws of physics? No. Physics or laws of nature is just another appeal to a group of what we call regularity. What makes the what imposes the regularity as opposed to it's the appearance of regularity? Okay. Why do you so, use the uh, word impose? Shouldn't it be determined? It, it, I, I think the word impose um, is a better descriptive. Uh, term. I could use the word determine, but I like the word impose. Well, impose, it sneaks in the uh, premise that there is some mind imposing it, as opposed to determining. Well, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Christian, and so my position is that it's imposed. But you see, okay, the, 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 the difference between impose and determine is not really important. It's an unimportant distinction. I'd say the mind aspect is pretty important because are you an are you are you are you an are you an atheist? Yes. Okay. Let's see everyone who's listening in the room. Let's see how long. Let's start the stopwatch until he becomes evasive. Can you tell me why there's no God? Because there's a contradiction between timelessness and mind as the properties of a God. That that I don't even know what that means. Well, you could ask about it. Are you what? are you are you saying that God is timeless? That's one of the properties of God. Is that God is outside oh, of time? Oh, so all theologians hold that God is timeless? No, just you. Uh, wrong. There are many theologians that don't hold to the timelessness mm -hmm. of God. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, no, you, you, yeah, not all okay. you know, theologians no. believe it. So, just we, you. So I said just listen, you. Listen, listen, you believe. You don't it. know what you're talking about, okay? So first of all, can you tell me what time? Do you is? believe God is timeless? Sure, listen to me carefully. Uh, I am not going. I'm listen. If you don't become more cooperative, you're going to be silenced. Okay. Now, can you give me a a, a robust definition of time? Uh, yes, uh, time is a measure of the change of states or a change of energy or motion. Okay, so time is relational then? Yes. Okay. So 
So then how do you get a first cause from a timeless um, first date? First cause would have to be timeless, so something that can uh, be determined. So now you've contradicted yourself. No, but you see, now you've contradicted yeah. yourself because now you say God can't be timeless. How do you have? How do you? How Correct. do you? Ha how do you have an event where there's no time? So God can't be timeless because God requires will. Can can the you mind have aspect, time? That's a contradiction. Can you have? Listen, listen to me. <laughs> Stop talking past me. Talk with me. Can you have an event without time? Yes. Oh, so could God be uh, the creator and the event that, that, that brings the world into existence? No, God has the property okay. of will okay. and the mind, okay. which and, requires and, and time. How you, and how do you, and okay, let me ask you this question. In a world where God is, okay, can God be known or anything to be known about God? If God purposes not to be known, um, nothing could be known about God if God doesn't want to be known. Okay, that. so, so, how would you know anything about God? I wouldn't know anything about God in that world. So you can't know anything about God, could you? Not you in just, that world. You no, just you thing. just screwed yourself. Do you realize that? Uh, I haven't screwed myself because it's okay. You know, okay, that 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 in, that that's, that's because people world. like you but don't God want to be corrected. He can know him by his works, and question. he says he's Let me ask you this question. You know what? God. You're you're gonna get server muted if you don't start become more cooperative instead of just bickering at me like we're at the cafeteria table. Okay. Now I'm gonna ask you a simple question: Is there something within your metaphysic that is absolute? that dictates all that is and cannot be. Yes, the very first instance of matter. Okay, and how would you know that? It's logical deduction. No, sir, that that is an answer that people like yourself give when you have no answer, when you say it's a logical deduction, is a completely uninformative response. Then you by can what, ask about it by instead of just what saying means, it's So what would you like what, to know about did, it? Did the absolute engage in communication and revelation to you or anyone else? No, it is a necessary requirement. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on exists. a second. Hold on a second. How do you know that anything's necessary? Uh, because I live in a world where I have laws of logic. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Listen to me carefully. Oh, it's an axiom. Right. So, so is what is fundamentally necessary? Did the necessary entity communicate and reveal itself to you? No, but revelation has yeah, no guess difference what, to guess just what? an opinion. So, guess what? When you illness. talk about what's necessary. You didn't know about what's necessary because that which is necessary has the attributes to communicate itself to you or to me. You're just conjecturing about what's necessary, aren't you? Knowledge does not only come from communication sir, with sir, something listen else. To me. Knowledge is something give you only one given. Warning. You can I'm give knowledge give you one warning. through logic you don't stop and your right sense now, data. Be... Okay, server mute him. He's done. Okay, this is a this is a guy who is a he, he's got fresh energi energizer batteries. He's a bullshitter. He doesn't want to have a, a conversation. He's just a machine gun motor mouth. He's telling us what's necessary, but then when I ask him, "Is what is necessary? Did it reveal itself to you?" He says, "No." Then how do you know about what's necessary? I know because uh, I would presuppose please, would logic, you please, would and I you think please that's one of the him. only ways would you to please mute logic. him? Would you please mute him because he's made it abundantly clear he doesn't want to have an interaction. He just wants to machine gun talk at me. You, you see how fundamentally deceitful and dishonest these people are? He wants to tell us that there's at least something that's necessary, but that which necessary didn't reveal itself. Then how do you know it's there? And then he just says, well, logic. And all we just get is this motor mouth rhetoric, and that's it. Did you hear him state that he presupposes logic as an axiom?
Yeah, I, I heard that. But you, you see, what, what's bad about it is not that what he's saying is completely vacuous. It's that he knows that he's bullshitting. He knows it. And he knows that I know that he's bullshitting. And he knows that everyone in the room knows that we know he's bullshitting. Yet he continues to bullshit. I love when they want to talk about time. <laughs> Yeah, he wants to, he wants to talk he wants to talk about well God can't exist in a in a time timeless state. Oh, but something else can, right? God can't exist in a timeless state, but something <laughs> else can, right? And then he has the notion that all theologians uh, uh, hold that 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 God is timeless, which, which which is ridiculous. There are some who do, and there are others who don't. And then the question is, it all depends on what we mean by time okay so if you're defining time as the relation between events okay well then why can't god be the first moment that brings into existence all subsequent moments oops I, I love it when they say, well, God can't be timeless. Well, then then what they do is they come up with their own creator that's not a mind, deaf, dumb, and blind. And it, too, is timeless, but then it effectuates the, the world. You see the double standard there? Talk about a landmine. Stepping on a landmine. <laughs> I, mean, that, I mean, that guy was driving at 100 miles an hour straight into a brick wall. No, that uh, by the way, I've talked with that guy before. He's just he's just a rapid fire motor mouth, and he just doesn't care. Hey, Doc, 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 I had a quick question. Uh, did you come across your beliefs like via yourself, like books and stuff, or like were you raised like by your parents? Like, uh, like how did that? How did you I was it? raised a, as an extremely nominal I think his parents Catholic. Him. Okay, yeah, I was raised as an extremely nominal Catholic. Oh, you were Catholic. Uh, very nominally. Oh, oh nominal. culturally. Okay. So, so uh, I, I, I became I became a Christian. Yeah. yeah. In my late teens, and the views that I came by from just studying the Bible and reading. It's sad when you talk oh, with people on here who also who, I want to. I'll, I'll yeah, go ahead. Know, uh, like what about Catholic? I have a few Catholic friends. What would you say to them? Like, what made you go away from Catholicism? Well, when I read the New Testament, I realized that the Catholic Church was a false representation of Christianity. I had I had no emotional axe to grind against the Catholic Church. I never read any anti-Catholic literature. I read the New Testament, and it was clear. There's no papacy. In the Bible, Peter wasn't the first pope. There's there, there, there's no super ecclesiastical structure known as the Church of Rome in the Bible. There's no devotion and prayers to Mary in the Bible. I also wanted uh, to get your like. I also like have this one Mormon friend. What do you think of like Mormons? Mormonism is another aberrant cult that claims to be commensurate with biblical Christianity, and it's not. It's very obvious to see how corrupt Mormonism is. That's, that's a... I, I agree with the fact that like, it's a cult. I, I don't know, man. It's They come up to your door and you never know what they're going to say. By the way, getting back to that other guy... Did you accept my friend request? I'm on mobile right now, so I'll have to oh, wait till man. I'm on my computer. Hell yeah, man. I would love to have um, to work a phone. Friend. Yeah, I'm I'm just a boomer. I don't know how to work a phone. I, I would love to have Dark Dawkins as a friend on here. Yeah, Dark, by the way, this is the same guy you were talking to a second. The, the t guy before the atheist. But anyway, I I had one quick question. Um, I, I ran into this website the other day. Uh, let's see oh. if I, I think I just pasted it. Um, yeah, cool. Dark. I, I ran into his website the other day. This Ooh. website. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Wait. Whose website? Wait, what do you mean? 
I think the guy. I, I don't know. Books. That's what I'm asking you. So, so <laughs> no, wait, quiet. So it's this. It's this. It's called Defense of the Faith. Dot WordPress. Dot com. Are you familiar with that? Oh, I see it. I see it. Defense of the Faith. You ever heard? I don't know. Yes, yeah, called know called Defense of the Faith. Dot WordPress. Dot com and. Uh, this is like this. Is, I posted in the chat right here. It says, dude, why would you do? I knew you were gonna do that. Why would you do, that? dude, dude, dude? What? Why are you? Why are you being obnoxious? I, I know, like you're an atheist, and it's like hard to like you know have self control. But just like stop for a second, okay? I'm that's, asking him a question. There's no way you posted that. Okay, well I just did. Okay, so anyway, the point is, is th- this this is a site, and whoever it is. I don't know. Is his taking a lot of notes and is his written down like verbatim, like conversation kind of. And it's, and it's, it's funny too, cause it has a lot of like different angles, defenses with other things, but it does mention your presuppositional uh, apologize who is debating atheists and online uh, venues such as discord. Anyway, I'm just, I was curious if you like knew who the writer of this was. Um, but it was really good. Uh, Anyway, oh, I, just, dark, dark. I, I just, it's I just, it's about it. you, dude. That's why the, are you talking? Oh no, it's about him. <laughs> um, this is the first I've ever seen it. I was just looking at it. Oh. Yeah, Wait, but yeah, his site. Are these just transcripts of what he said? Hey, hey, sir, sir, why are you so obnoxious? Um, I was just skimming through it. Um, it, it, what? What I did look at, it looks like it's a, it seems to be an accurate representation of my views. I'd probably yeah, do it yeah. You well, yeah, that. yeah. I read, I read a good bit of this part at least. It, it definitely, you know, I've even heard you over and over. Um, it definitely was pretty accurate. And then, anyway, it was it looked like a pretty good. Set. I kind of wanted to look at. Well, I just thought maybe you knew of something about it, but anyway, I, no, so maybe is, not. I guess well, not. This is the first time I've seen that, Sergeant. Do you think you should read through it before he says it's like his thought? Hey, Bio, Bio, you're a liar. Um, a liar. Uh, you a, need to, I'll you be, need I'll pen. be, I'll be back. Yeah. That's a hateful. Yeah, yeah. Though. I don't think you should. Have yeah, well, well, you are a liar, and, and I don't, I don't care to talk to you either. Because I heard you. That's a sin. I heard. No, it's not, it's not hateful. So, so I'm not going to engage with you. It's not it's hateful. The Bible tells me world. to. The Bible tells me to avoid people like you. I think okay? you sent us. You, you sent because, us the Bible to defeat you've, Darth Darth. You've shown. You've shown. You're not willing to actually have a conversation. I am. You I have been. Be I, how about this? I'm not, I'd no, love to learn, aren't. Sergeant. What? What? Hey, hey, dude. Bio. Bio. I don't, I, don't, I don't really care to talk to you. And and right there, for example, I was trying to say so ask, ask him something. I wasn't asking you anything. And then you were being obnoxious like a child. Okay? So like mm-hmm. I don't know why you'd expect me to want to speak to you after you were just being obnoxious. I don't no, care I to talk you, to you. Uh, hold on, hold on. I think you yeah, should apologize. I, I was trolling. I've been trolling the whole time. No, he's not serious. Oh no, he has been. Of course, he's been trolling. Yeah, he's he's a liar. Exactly. Yeah, can, I ask, can I ask a question? Ask a question. Are you who are you saying is trolling? This guy, the bio guy. Questions. He was talking oh, yeah, to a sergeant. Like sergeant was trying to ask questions. Ask a question. It's not serious. 